So this Sunday will be the sixth year anniversary of College Church of the Nazarene University Avenue. June 22nd, 2014 was the first Sunday of the new College Church. I was appointed pastor after having been the campus pastor for two, since 2009, and I preached my first sermon here as senior pastor on that day. So six years ago this Sunday, we began again. That first year, we hired staff, most of whom are still here. The board was organized. We chose a new name, College Church of the Nazarene University Avenue, and we finished the legal requirements for becoming a new church. The next year, we began making plans to renovate this facility. It was in need of renovation. We raised almost $800,000 that year which enabled us to add restrooms to the education unit, build a new platform, refinish every pew, recarpet and refloor the entire facility that is the sanctuary, the children's area, and the CLC. In addition to a renovation of the entire facility, because of the generosity of College Church, we were able to pay off a $220,000 mortgage, the only debt we carried. Now, all of this renovation was done with a new addition in mind. We determined five years ago that in order to meet the future needs of this congregation, we needed an addition that would make the building much more user-friendly. We wanted to connect the three transepts so that each transept would be accessible uh, from anywhere in the building. We wanted a large enough area for people to visit both before and after the worship services. We needed to provide ground floor access to the sanctuary, and we wanted to add a much-needed fellowship room for the children's area. We also needed to rebuild the kitchen, renovate the restrooms in the main hallway, and remodel the cafe. So in 2016, we contacted an architect, Thomas Bouchard, who had designed many of the buildings on Olivet's campus, whose work we, we liked. And we worked with him for over a year to design a facility that would be functional, hospitable, and would add to the beauty of the existing building. Now, we believe he accomplished that. And of course, we've been looking at those pictures for two and a half years now. Because two and a half years ago, in January of 2018, we presented this idea, this project to the church, and we began a three-year project of raising money to build this addition. So that when we built, we would be able to do so without incurring burdensome debt. Our hopes at that time were that we could build this year. Well, to say the church responded well would be an understatement. In the two and a half years that we have been at this, we have raised $1,654,000. We contacted all of those who made three-year pledges, and we have been assured that those pledges will be received totaling $2,142,000. Now, the total cost for this new construction, including the already renovated kitchen, cafe, and bathrooms, is $2,845,000, which means that we have raised so far 75% of the total cost of this new construction. So, we have been prayerfully considering for several months now when we should build. Tracy Erickson, a longtime member of College Church, has been the project manager for all of these renovations, and he agreed to be the project manager for the new addition. Working with him are John Thompson, Russ Benson, Larry Shalley, and Richard Reedy. And these gentlemen have agreed to, under Tracy's leadership, have agreed to oversee the construction of the new facility. I met with them four weeks ago, and it was their considered and unequivocal judgment that we build this summer, as we had planned. So, uh, these men met with College Church University Avenue Church Board just last night, Wednesday, June 17th to consider the benefits of building now over against waiting until next spring. The board members are Jorge Bonilla, Charles Kerrigan, Rachel Greenwald, Shannon Hicks, Mark Lamping, Steve Lowe, Jeanette Martinson, Doug Nielsen, Kyle Olney, Charles Parabo, Rebecca Balcherankin, Chris Schreid, and John Thompson. And after really good and serious conversation, the board decided that there was no good reason to wait and that there were many good reasons to build now. So last night, your church board voted unanimously 
to begin construction as soon as possible. Which means that construction of our new addition will begin within the next two to four weeks. Just six years from when College Church began again. Now construction could take as little as six months, but at most eight. So we can expect to be in a new facility, our new facility, perhaps as early as January of next year, but no later than Easter Sunday, 2021, which is April 4th. That's pretty exciting. Which also means that we will be breaking ground in the next couple of weeks. We'll let you know that date as soon as it's determined. So we are expecting good days ahead. And this addition, the first construction at this site for over 38 years and 38 years, this construction is evidence that we believe that there are great days ahead for College Church. God has a future for us, and we are making preparations for it. Now, in addition to considering when to build, the leadership is also considering when we might, when we could, when we should return to in-house church. We decided that we could not begin having worship services in the sanctuary until we could live stream the services effectively because we don't want to leave anyone behind. We want all to be able to participate. So we are upgrading our sound system, upgrading the lighting on the platform, and we are installing equipment that will enable us to live stream well. And that upgrade of that equipment will begin four days from now, Monday, June 22nd. That will take about three weeks. Well, you should also know that we have contacted Olivet Nazarene University, and we are exploring the possibility of college church meeting in Centennial Chapel for worship services. Now, that may not be possible, as Olivet has more constraints than churches do. But I just wanted you to know that we are exploring all options. We want to come to church as quickly as we can for the most people that can. Until then, we'll continue to be the domestic church. We'll worship from our homes. We'll continue to gather in our Zoom meetings. We'll continue to gather outside under the tents and in parks. I want to thank you for continuing to care for each other. And I want to thank you for your patience in this very unusual time. I want to thank you for your prayers for the church, for the leadership, for our country. And I want to thank you for your faithfulness to the Lord, expressed in your fidelity to his church, and expressed in particular in your fidelity to this church. There are going to be some really good days ahead. I am looking forward to them. See you Sunday.